City Slacker is um, a romantic comedy. It's about a um, very powerful, successful woman, played by Fiona Gillis. And uh, she works in the city, city high flyer, and she finds out that the eggs that she had frozen when she was young, ready to use when she's achieved all her career goals, have been uh, accidentally defrosted. So um, she realizes if she's going to have a baby, she's going to have to work fast. So she decides that she's going to not give up her career. She's going to find a young, success, uh, not successful, a young, unambitious slacker who's going to stay at home and look after the baby while she carries on her career. And uh, she finds him, and he's absolutely perfect, but there's a reason. It's been set up by her furious ex who's been dumped um, because he didn't want to have children. So it's uh, set in the city of London. It's... Um, it's very glamorous and uh, starts off very, um, the values are kind of, you know, greed, selfishness, ambition, money. And by the end of the film, it's um, love, of course, because it's a romantic comedy, um, family, relationships and children. I wanted to write uh, something about a, a woman because I don't think there's enough parts, good parts for, for women. And uh, I wanted to make her kind of glamorous and successful. And uh, the city is a perfect environment for it because it's kind of glamorous and sexy, but also evil and corrupt. So it's perfect for drama. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the story sort of evolved. You know, I thought, what would uh, someone, a woman of, uh, of a certain age, at the you know, height of her powers, what's her Achilles heel? And it's this uh, need for control. So she's, um, she controls her whole life, she's hugely successful, and she's even got her eggs banked, ready. And I thought, what if you took that away from her, and then there's suddenly one thing that she hasn't got control over, which is her biological clock. And she goes into a mad kind of panicky tailspin, I've got to have a baby, I've got to have it now. So you, you, you sort of see this woman kind of um, unravelling before your eyes. And it was sort of, you know, great fun to write, and, and I think it's... Uh, as Fiona plays her, it's great fun to watch as well. I've worked for a long time with Michael and um, Michael wrote a, a feature that Matthew Thompson directed that Aaron Johnson was in um, a few years ago that was also at Rain Dance called Dummy and I executive produced that and we've worked on lots of shorts and um, I've produced those and sometimes I've acted in them. I'll find a man. What man? Good with children. I'm supposed to be looking after my sisters this afternoon. And happy to be a house husband. Mary Poppins with a cock. I would say it's about, at the end of the day, the characters get what they need, which isn't necessarily what they want. And that's, you know, that's a, a lesson in life, really. But also, it's about, you know, values. So it's quite tight, guys, because a lot of people in this, you know, difficult climate are re-evaluating what's important to them and um, I think essentially that's what what this is about yeah. so it's it's people and everyone through Tom Conti plays um, uh, Fiona's character's father and he sort of comes into the story as this lovely little sub subplot where he suddenly crashes into her life at the worst possible moment saying oh you know that pension and the house and the annuity I had well I put it all into a mini cab firm and it's gone bust so can you look after me now please and she's kind of horrified because they never had a relationship and through the film he gets a chance to kind of have another go at having a relationship with his daughter so he also is um, you know looking at his life values and Jeffrey Stratfield plays Dan who is the slacker the slacker who's not the title. what yeah. he seems and he also goes through a huge kind of journey in the film and yeah I would say the one thing is about look at what's important to you really look at what's important to you and um, and kind of lead your life to towards that and not kind of short-term, quite superficial goals. Our Rain Dance is a fantastic festival and for us it's been a brilliant opportunity to get our film out there and we've got our international premiere um, on Friday 
So it's, it's a wonderful platform for us. It's a great opportunity to network and meet all sorts of other filmmakers. Um, we're being bombarded with ideas and information. There are all sorts of workshops that are going on. Um, we've met financiers, we've met other producers. You know, we're looking ahead to the next one and this is the perfect place to be, really, because you're meeting people from all parts of the industry. So Rain Dance is it's a great festival and we're really delighted because we've been nominated for Best UK Feature. <laughs> so we're thrilled. It's a wonderful platform to, uh, to start the film on its next journey which is, you know, getting out to the, getting out to the public.